Faster than light is not possible. If you think that, then this new discovery will blow your mind. Scientists claim to have found something that breaks the speed of light. We'll take a closer look at it, so stay tuned until the end. Welcome, friends. The speed of light is just under 300,000 kilometers per second. 100,000 subscribers for this year would be enough for me. It's absolutely free. You'll never miss a galactic video again, and you'll help me a lot to reach this goal, so everyone press the subscribe button at the speed of light. Thanks a lot, guys. Have you ever heard of tachyons? Tachyons sound like an alien species from Star Trek or something, but they are hypothetical particles that have a long and controversial history in physics. They are said to be able to move faster than the speed of light, or more precisely, faster than the mass maximum speed c, which violates one of the most fundamental rules of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. However, new research results have revived the discussion about these exotic particles and the possibility that the speed of light can be broken. But let's first clarify what the speed of light is all about. Years ago, I created this highly professional diagram to illustrate this effect, a spaceship traveling through space and time. The faster it moves through space, the slower time passes. Now imagine a photon, a particle of light, which naturally moves much faster than a spaceship, namely at the maximum speed c, colloquially known as the speed of light. This speed has such a massive influence on space-time that the time component is completely eliminated. Time is slowed down so much that it stands still. For light, time does not exist in this sense, and this represents the maximum utilization of the relationship between space and time. More than the elimination of the time component is not possible, and therefore the maximum speed is reached at this point. So far, so good. So we are in complete agreement with Einstein, whose special theory of relativity states that the speed of light in a vacuum is the maximum speed for any form of energy or matter. Even massless particles, such as photons, can only reach this speed and cannot exceed it. But nobody's perfect, not even Einstein, and so physicists discovered a loophole in Einstein's theory of relativity that theoretically allows particles whose mass is negative to the power of two. Such particles would always travel faster than the speed of light. In addition, some mathematical models, such as string theory, show that super light speed particles could be possible under certain conditions. These theoretical particles are called tachyons. To put it even more simply, Einstein's own calculations provide a kind of involuntary backdoor that theoretically allows the existence of particles that travel faster than the speed of light. And these potential particles could not be slowed down to the speed of light or below, as this would require an infinite amount of energy. So you could say that a tachyon really has a lot on the speedometer. However, the tachyon hypothesis has always been problematic because although Einstein's field equations make their existence seem possible, other factors in practice get in the way a little. At least two major problems have so far remained unsolved. Firstly, negative energy. The energy of the tachyons could take on negative values under certain conditions, which does not seem particularly plausible according to current physical theory. And secondly, the unstable vacuum. The tachyon field would be unstable in its ground state, which would trigger a kind of avalanche of such super light speed particles. But now a new research paper by physicists at the University of Stockholm is causing quite a stir in the world of science because they claim to have solved the tachyon problem. The physicists say, we show that these these problems are caused by an incorrect representation of the Lorentz group in a Hilbert space that is too small. Hilbert space? Lorenz group, I think we need to break down some of the terms here to understand what the researchers have discovered. The Hilbert space is a mathematical space that describes the possible states of a quantum physical system. You can think of it as a large space in which all the possible states of a particle or field can be found. The Lorenz group, on the other hand, describes the symmetries of the special theory of relativity, i.e. how physical laws behave under movements and rotations in space. This group helps us to understand how particles and fields change under different conditions. I know it's all super complicated, and if you were always getting chalk like me in physics class, it doesn't make things any easier. But in principle, you can simply say that physicists in their work suspect that all previous controversies regarding tachyons are due to the fact that our understanding of quantum mechanical processes is incomplete. According to them, the key point is the need to consider not only the initial, but also the final state of the system when describing the behavior of tachyons. And now it gets really weird, because now we're talking about time travel. The researcher 
future involved, Andre Dragan says, the idea that the future can influence the present rather than the other way around is by no means new in physics, but until now it was considered at best an unorthodox interpretation of some quantum phenomena. So to really enter the realm of tachyons, which would be a fantastic title for a sci-fi novel, it is necessary that we abandon the usual linear perception of time. I hope you're ready for this, people. Imagine a movie that you can watch from the beginning or from the end, and even if you watch it backwards from the end to the beginning, the plot remains logical and complete. This reverse approach to time is, according to the authors of the study, the key to understanding the nature of tachyons. Because when you look at time like this, the tachyon theory becomes mathematically consistent. The study states, by doubling the Hilbert space, we establish a covariant framework that allows the correct quantization of the tachyon fields and eliminates all these problems. Quantum physicists really do have a habit of expressing themselves in a complicated way. What they mean is that by introducing this inverse time principle, Q, watching the movie from the end, it is possible to insert the faster than light particles into quantum field theory, and now it gets even crazier. The new theory also offers surprising perspectives for understanding other quantum mechanics phenomena, in particular the mysterious connections between particles known as quantum entanglement. In quantum physics, two particles can be entangled with each other, and then they react instantaneously to each other, no matter how far apart they are. Imagine that I'm quantum entangled with a pizza oven, and that pizza oven is 10 million light years away. If someone were to bake a pizza in it, I would immediately perceive the smell, despite the 10 million light years between us. That is quantum entanglement, and it is absolutely bizarre. Until now, it was assumed that this connection was only possible between particles in the present. But the new theory suggests the possibility of entanglement between the past and the future, which would weave reality into a bizarre time loop. Particles can not only be spatially entangled, but also temporally. This reminds me very much of the movie Interstellar, which is also about a space-time connection that exists within a mysterious time loop. Let me know if you've seen the movie and if you understood it completely. These new quantum physical calculations suggest that tachyons, which travel faster than the speed of light, may actually exist. That would be nothing less than an absolute revolution in physics. But as always, not everyone is convinced. Physicist Krzysztof Jodlowski from the Institute for Basic Research in Seoul believes the new study is flawed and says, The quantum mechanical description of their interaction makes no sense. The adapted equations from the standard toolbox of quantum field theory lead to unphysical behavior. And boy, Kuinta, they fate. Well, what do you think? Do tachyons exist? Are particles that travel faster than the speed of light conceivable? Or is it all just total quantum mechanical nonsense? I'm very curious to hear your opinion, so please feel free to write down all your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I will keep you up to date on all further physical breakthroughs, so subscribe now and activate the bell. Now we will travel together to a very earthly topic, namely a super volcano. No tachyons rise to the surface there, but magma, and now we have some super exciting new insights regarding the Yellowstone super volcano and the probability of a catastrophic eruption. What the current situation looks like, whether an eruption is imminent and how destructive such an eruption would be for the rest of the world, I've explained to you in the video shown at the top right. Be sure to click on it. And if you want to support my work, please feel free to visit my online shop. Link in the video description. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, friends.